So here is the last set. The, do the companions to the 13th Doctor or the fam. And now I'm so glad with this one. I've now got all of the companions to the 13th Doctor complete and I'm going to put them all on the shelf next to next. I do own the friends and foe to the 13th Doctors but in this set you've got a brand new Graham figure and I never managed to get Graham on his own so to have him with Yaz and Ryan again is just another kind of way to complete the set. So if I quickly put this on pause and I'll show you and I do show and I will show you about the other variants of Ryan and Yaz. So talk about Graham O'Brien himself. Sorry about the camera there. Because I am recording this by my phone. <laughs> so let's talk about Graham. I think it's his costume from series 11 and I don't mind it at all. I love it. I love I got a Graham figure. So the head does a 360, you know, the arms, the hands. Again, like so, and then the legs, as you know. So, and this has got a good exactly liking to Bradley Walsh himself. So, I might actually just sit down and watch the 13th Doctor story later with these. So, next up, it is Yaz, and leaving Ryan to last. So, here are my two variants of Yaz, which we've got so far the jacket. Kind of looks like the same jacket all the way through, but with just different jeans and t-shirt. And the shoes look the same. There's not really much really differences between these two, really. I think this one's from Future of the Dragoon, and this one's from Can You Hear Me? But nothing really compare. It's just another fantastic figure, really. And it's the same circulation as I did in the same video. And again, with Ryan St. Clair. So, it was the variant I've got from the 13 Doctor's Friends of Foe and the 13 Doctor's Companions. So, all that's different is the shirts, the jacket, and trousers, and the shoes. That's the only thing that's different to these two, but they seem completely sculpted. So, I'm not really talking about much about these two figures of Ryan, Sinclair, and of course, yeah, so if I quickly move them throughout the way and then put Graham back in and then of course if I do this, so I'll show you. Here we are. And this is how I'm gonna display them on the shelf. So there we are. My companions to the 13th Doctor. Well, the 13th Doctor shelf is complete for the companion wise. I'm even going to add Captain Jack Hartless into this for Future of the Jadu. But, I have to say, this set is truly amazing and it is really amazing. So now you can actually complete your 13th, the 13th Doctor's Companions. You can complete the Companions of the 13th Doctor. I've only got two more sets to go for the B&M range. I've got to go for the two Dalek sets and then I've got the whole complete of the sets so far. So... I'm going to put this on pause and then show you the whole range of the new figures. So, here is the B&M set so far. All I'm missing is the two Dalek sets. And I'm hoping to get them soon. But and then I have the whole October range of Doctor Who figures. So, I've got... If I show you one by one. So, here is my first set of, this, of the stuff I've got. So, here is Terror of the Zygon set. Oh, do do. And put them at the back. The fifth doctor and titles from the visitation, the companions to the third, third to the third and fourth doctor, and of course the companions to the thirteenth doctor. So all I've got to do is get the two Dalek sets from the chase, and of course the Daleks master plan, and then the whole range of the B and M twenty twenty set will be complete. I, don't, I nearly completed the last set. I never managed to get my hands on the companions to the fourth doctor set, but now. I'm not really too fussed because I've got this new range of them. We've got a new design of them. And then you can just put them on the shelf either way. So thank you for watching. Please do like, subscribe and share to my channel. And I hope you all have a brilliant, brilliant time and collecting Doctor Who.